Yo, what is up, YouTube? I'm a first time Unity developer, so I don't know too much, but I'm currently learning how to use Unity with the Oculus Rift VR. So I was having a little trouble just following some guys on how to get the test set up of an interacting object, so I wanted to make this little video for you guys. So first things first, you know, you just create a new project. You want to make sure the project's set up for VR. You go up to your build settings and then player settings. And then under XR settings, you want to make sure the virtual reality support is checked. After that, you want to go to their asset store and just type in Oculus right here up in the search bar. And right here is going to be one of the very first options you could choose from. It's going to be the Oculus integration. You want to click on that, import it. And once it's all done, you'll get all these nice little folders right here. This folder is right here. This is something I just made this for this video right now. So don't mind that one. But everything else you need is mainly up in the OVR and the OVR avatar. There's lots of handy resources you can also um, find in these folders if you want to like, see some sample work. So here's my little scene. I just have a floor and cube set up, so I'm going to walk you, help you guys get everything else set up. First thing you want to do, you want to click on the OVR folder, then go to prefabs. Then you're going to grab this one right here, the OVR player controller. Just drag it right onto your scene. This is the prefab for showing how your, well, um, for like showing your camera on the headset. Just gonna drag that right around for when you play. So if we start it right now, you'll be able to look on the screen. And this is already set up with the controller. So if you have the controls with you, you can use it to move around. The right along sticks just changes your view while the left one's for movement. After you got that set up, you want to drag in. You want to go to OVR Avatar Prefabs and drag in the logo avatar and set it under the tracking space tree. You can set that under there wherever you want. So now, if we actually go into the view, we're going to have the avatar here set up. All right. Now let's set up some objects to be grabbed. What I'm going to do, I'm going to create a 3D object of a spear. I'm going to reset the position, set it up right here above my little table. Let's scale it down a little bit. Set that nicely right there on top of the table. And let's move it a little bit closer to the edge to make sure we can grab it. So to make this a grabbable object, Oculus provided us with two scripts. You can find them inside the script folder under OVR. And once you're in here, you want to go to Util. These are the two main scripts you're gonna mess with. So this one's the grabbable and this one's the grabber. You want to drop the grabbable onto the spear add it as a component. And the other thing you want to make sure to make sure um to add is a physics rigid body. This is how it's gonna interact when it's grabbed. And that's just set up for the spears or anything you want it to be grabbed besides that. I almost forgot the grab point, so you want to at least put one right here. And then for the collider, you just could drag collider right down there from the spear. So that's set up. Now the only other things you need to do. Uh, for the hands, the ones you're going to be messing with is the right and left hand anchors. You want to right click the right hand anchor and create a spear. 
and do the same thing for the left hand. Let's just rename this right hand spare, left hand spare, and on the anchors themselves, you want to drag the grabber script, add it as a component. Don't worry about the pop up, just hit continue. And let's scale these spares down a little bit. I like point 0.2. Alright. Now, if we just go into the view real quick, we should have some spares for hands. And right now, this puts stutter spare out the floor, but. This is what you want pretty much. The size of the spear will pretty much determine your grabbing area. So mess with that to get like a more realistic feel. You can like change the position on your hand. The rotation won't really matter because it's a spear. So now, one thing you want to make sure you do. So on the right hand anchor, you want to put a size of one. And then you want to drag the spear for the right hand into the grip transform and the collider. And don't forget to set the button for your controller. So this is the right hand, so you want the R touch. Then we're going to do the same for the left hand. Drag the left hand collider in here and the left hand spear grip transform. Another thing you want to make sure you change instead of gravity, you want this to be is kinematic. All right, now on the spares themselves, you want to make sure it's trigger selected on both the spears for your hands. And with that, we should be able to start grabbing some objects. Here, grab it from my right hand, drop it, pick up from my left. Ah, uh, guess I forgot something. Uh, I forgot to set the left touch. And now the left hand is also working. Now all you have to do is just turn off the mesh render if you just want to see the hands. And now you're grabbing your objects. So pretty much all you have to do is mess with the size position on the spears and to get a more realistic grab feeling going on. And you can just turn on the mesh render to see the radius. And that's just about it. Thanks for watching my video.